Welcome to another episode of Outer Space Reviews. I'm Chris, your guide into the fabulous world of toy collecting. It has been a while since we've done a box opening. Why is that? Well, I've now shipped everything in the slowest uh, shipping possible. So they now get shipped surface. Is that a bad thing? Yes and no. The bad thing is it's very slow. It can take two months, but the good thing is I've loaded up all my orders with a whole bunch of electronical stuff. So this year I'll have a whole bunch more battery operated stuff. If you're interested in collecting toys like myself, remember to hit that subscribe button because subscribing helps us grow. Let's get into the episode. <laughs> Now, with this box, it has come from Ami Ami. This is actually my August order. A lot of things were pre-ordered earlier this year, and then some extra things were thrown in. Now, because some of these items are battery operated, we had to ship it the slow way. All ordered for the end of August, shipped mid-September, and now it's finally here in November. That's why it's taken a while for us to even receive anything for a box opening. We finally got one box. And we got a whole bunch more on the way, so look forward to that. So subscribe. Anyway, let's check it out. It's not small. <laughs> now, when I received this box, I had actually forgotten what's inside of it. Standard thank you note and standard mess. Whip! Look at that, it's chunkers. So what we'll do first is we'll start with the pre-owned stuff, which I'm now calling pre-owned corner. All these items have been pre-owned, but that doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. A lot of them I actually try to get in really good condition, but if there's something I really want, I will break my rule and I will purchase it. Now, what is that rule? My main number one rule is don't buy anything under B plus condition. It's mainly when I want to display that item. If it's something I really like, I will not buy under B+. So for those playing at home, B+, is, for example, you have this lovely packaging, but it has been opened before. The item has been opened up, so they looked at the item, but then they closed the box and put it away. So the item hasn't been touched, but it has been opened. I'm okay with that. It means they haven't touched the figurine, which means I get to play with it. So the first item from Star Wars Episode... From Star Wars Episode 8. It is a Elite Praetorian Guard, but it's the Whip Staff one. Now, I, in previous episodes, I had um, purchased the other guys. There was the guard with the double blade and the guard with the heavy blade. So yeah, this is the one with the Whip Staff. They all came with Whip Staffs, but it's more about the helmet. And he also comes with a, uh, like, a, a, like a staff with a blade on it. I'm not good when it comes to weapons. Like, ugh, don't quote me on anything. Really happy to get this one. That means I have all three. I'm good at math. He is in A condition, so he has not been opened up. Boxes in B, so there might be some scuffs on it somewhere. It was cheap, yay. If I wanted to make a diorama, I only need to get five more because there are eight of them, so I gotta decide which ones I actually need and then go from there. Just happy to have all three. Next on pre-owned corner, also in the Star Wars universe, it is dun dun. Dun, dun, dun. The Mandalorian in his first outfit. So yes, with this one, the rule has been broken. If I look, yes. This one is in B condition, so it has been opened before. Look at that sticky tape. Why? Because you, as you previously seen in the Mandalorian comparison episode, Figure Arts vs. Uh, Black series, um, I had opened up my Beskar armor one and I kind of wanted the first release Mandalorian. And I am getting the new SH Figure Arts uh, Mandalorian that's coming out um, in January or December, or one of them. I can see in the box um, they've just shoved all the items into it, so I will have to check later to see if it's actually missing anything. In A condition, it is worth a lot, so I was happy to get it and be at a decent price. Now, what else on pre owned corner? Last item, it actually takes up most of this box. I have previously purchased this item before in another episode, but it turns out it was actually a gift for someone. This one is now for me. From the SH Figure Arts Star Wars line, it is the Darth Vader display campaign piece. Special uh, display stand. And it's broken. Uh, the reason why I got this one is I want to make a mold of it. If we look at the back. So you can see it's the it's the one of the windows for the Death Star 2. I want to make a mold of it and then damage it a bit. Put it on a um, angle and then um, display the SH Figure Arts Kylo and 
Ray from episode nine. I think that would be a really, really cool display piece. And then I'll also have an official thing. This one was purchased in a condition also. Yay! So it hasn't been opened, but, or, but I call BS on that because right here, I can see that they've sticky taped it over the sticky tape. Now that could be the manufacturer made a mistake when um, packaging it. Sticky taping was pretty clean. So I will say it's probably Tamashi had to quickly look inside. Box condition is B, but that's not what we're here for. You're not supposed to display the box. You're supposed to display the display. Now I'm definitely happy to get this one for myself. Moving on, we are now into the pre-order stuff. So this is all things that were on pre-order and released in August or backlogged. Let's get the uh, figure arts out of the way. In this one, we got one pre-ordered figure art. Now I already have this figure in my collection, but I wanted this repaint of it because it's cheap and also technically you can have a whole army of them. From Dragon Ball Super, Goku Black. Super Saiyan Rose. When uh, Goku Black originally came out, it came with the um, non-Super Saiyan Rose head. This one is exclusively Super Saiyan Rose. The reason why I want it is because it's a cheap figure and you can have multiple of them because of the way that the hair is painted. Um, it makes it more look like the clones from the dimension that uh, Goku Black opens up with his uh, hatred scythe to attack uh, Goku and Vegeta with. And also I haven't opened up the original Goku Black figure which is now a ridiculously expensive figure due to issues in America where they just couldn't get the um, supply to meet the demand for it. And so a lot of people missed out. I didn't because I ordered it from Japan directly. So now I have a cheap Goku black figure that I can open, which is exciting. One thing I'm gonna do, especially with all the Super Saiyan Goku um, figures that are out, I'm going to put a Super Saiyan Goku head on this figure, mainly his uh, screaming faces. And if I was to take some photos, or even with the way I display it, I have to show it on his right side profile because then um, as per the Dragon Ball Super manga, Goku Black actually goes regular Super Saiyan with the blonde hair. So that would be cool. The Vegeta fighting a Super Saiyan Goku Black. That's something I've wanted for ages. Or I could somehow find a sculpt of the Rose head because of the earring and then he's got yellow eyebrows, but that's another $30, $40 down the drain. Whatever. Moving on. Previously, I had been streaming No More Heroes 1 and 2. This year, No More Heroes 3 came out. So I managed to snag the Japanese version. What is it called? It's the Billion Dollar Edition. Now this is the Killion Dollar Trilogy. So why have billions when you can have Killions? Now what's so special about this? It's just <laughs> not much. It's just a special packaging. It comes with the uh, No More Heroes 1 and 2 on one um, Switch um, cartridge. Now, because I ordered it from Army Army on the day it was up for pre-order, I also got myself a No More Heroes uh, mouse pad done by the artist from uh, The Boys. No, that's not true. Maybe it is, I think it is, but that's cool at the bottom. It says Army Army. So the front cover of No More Heroes is actually done by the artist from who created the comic book, The Boys, we had seen on Amazon Prime. We're not sponsored by Amazon Prime. I wish we were, but we're not. All I need now in Japanese is uh, No More Heroes, uh, Travis Strikes Back. And then I'd pretty much have them all. We all know I like Kamen Rider. From the most recent series, this actually came out just before the uh, series started. From Kamen Rider Revice, we have the Megalodon Vice Stamp. Vice Stamp? Vice Stamp. Vice stump. Vice stumpu. Vice stumpu. Vice stamp. Vice stamp. Vice stamp. Vice stamp. So we got the DX Megalodon Vice stamp. Not much we can really do with it at the moment until the driver gets here, but we're just counting down the days at this point for it to arrive. And then we're going to be doing a very, very big review. As of the recording of this video, I have ordered all current uh, Vice stamps that are out. So I will be able to display them all and review all of them at once. So look forward to that episode. Just remember to subscribe if you haven't already, just so you can get notifications. Click the notification button too, so you, you know. So look forward to that. I'm looking forward to it. Now the final items, it's kind of a two thing. It's, they're together. You can get them separately or you can get in a uh, one big bundle pack. It's from this year's Sentai series. We have 
the DX Gear Toringa. Woo! And also the DX, the Zenkai Buckle. Get that out of the way. So yeah, this is the transformation device of uh, the 45th anniversary Sentai series for Zenkai Ja, Zenkai Juran, Zenkai Gaon, Zenkai Majine, and Zenkai Verun. I'm definitely happy to have this set. Now I know how Iron Mouse feels. Well, that's cool. We'll definitely do a big review once we get uh, some more stuff and some more gears. So also look forward to that in the future. Definitely happy to have this one. Um, I didn't get uh, last year's... Actually, no, I did get last year's series, which was Kira Major. At this point, I'm only missing um, Rue Soldiers. But I have an English one. That counts, right? So I'll have to look for that whenever um, I go back to Japan, whenever the borders open. But I'm definitely happy to get this set. It's so cool. It's a gun and a thingy, and it makes sounds, and you can use... It's kind of Gokai-ish, but not Gokai-ish. But yeah, collect them all. All 45. Mm. So there we have it. First unboxing in a long time. Very happy to finally have received these items after actually stressing about when they would arrive. I thought they were lost in the mail. Oh my God, my anxieties. <gasps> I don't know what I would do if I'd lost these things, but I'm very happy now that everything has uh, arrived. I thought I spent more money on this uh, order, but in the coming months, we have some very, very big orders, um, especially I think it's October or September. Eh, one of them's three boxes because they couldn't ship it all in one box. And I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> but yes, to you, the viewer, I thank you for thee. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you haven't already, I ask, please like and subscribe. Or alternatively, watch one of our other videos. We have, we've done so much. Um, if you don't like box openings, I review stuff now. I actually review stuff. And we also have special guests, so you check out the content that we have with them. Hopefully soon we'll be able to do some more Japan content or in Nippon, glorious Nippon. Hope to catch you in the next episode. Bye!